multiplication with arrays. Hey guys, today you will explore how to use arrays to help you write repeated addition equations. We will examine the Common Core Math Standard 2.0A4. Are you ready? So you might be asking yourself, Miss Wills, what exactly is an array? Hmm. An array is an arrangement of objects or pictures in rows and columns, like the image you see here. There are two main parts that make up an array, rows and columns. It's easy to get them confused, but just remember, rows are horizontal. They go from across, left to right. Columns are vertical. They go up and down. Now let's take a closer look. Let's examine an array. Look at the array you see on the screen. How many rows do you see? Don't forget, Rows go from left to right. You think you got it? Let's check your work. Let's look at our array again and count the rows. I'm going to start with the first row and I see that it is one row of five. Then I see a second row that also has five. So I count two rows of five circles. So you are right. Now let's see if we can use repeated addition to solve this array. So again, in that first row, we counted one row of five circles. So I have five in the first row, and I also have five in the second row. So what do you think our repeated addition is? That's right. We can add 5 plus 5, which equals 10. Now let's look at that same array. This time, I want you to see if you can look only at the columns. How many columns do you see? Don't forget, columns are vertical, so they go up and down. Let's see. Let's see how you're doing there. Let's check your work. Count with me as I count the columns. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, we have five columns of two circles. Again, let's use repeated addition to solve. So we have five columns and each column has two circles in it. So that looks like two plus two plus two plus two plus two. And guess what? Our sum is still 10. So now we had one array and two very different equations. For our rows, they showed five plus five equals 10 for our repeated addition. And for our columns, we had two plus two plus two plus two plus two equals 10. So it looks like I might be able to use my repeated addition to help me skip count. So if I skip count my rows, I can count 5, 10. And if I skip count my columns, I can count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Wow, so it seems that arrays can help me add, multiply, and skip count.
Let's take a look at our array again. So our rows had 5 plus 5 equals 10, which means we had two groups of 5. And that makes our multiplication sentence 2 times 5 equals 10. This same array could also be expressed with our columns. We see that we had 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 for our repeated addition. That means we have 5 groups of 2. And therefore, our multiplication sentence is 5 times 2 equals 10. You guys are rocking and rolling with this. Good job. Now let's try another because I know you can do it. Take a look at this array. This one's a little different. Look closely and tell me how many rows do you see? Don't forget, you want to count the number of lines that you see going across from left to right. You ready to check your work? Let's see. Let's look at that array and count with Ms. Willis. I count one, two, three. I count three rows of four circles. You got it right. Now let's use our repeated addition to solve. Remember to look at how many are in each row. How many in each row? There were four in each row. So what would your repeated addition sentence be? That's right. It would be 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. Good job. Now let's look at those columns. Remember, when we're looking at columns, those go from up and down. They are vertical. How many columns do you see? Now let's check your work. Here's our array again, and now we're going to count the columns. Count with me, please. One, two, three, four. I count four columns with three circles in each. Now let's see if we can use our repeated addition to solve this problem. Here's our array again. How many in each column? That's right, there are three in each column. So what is our repeated addition sentence? Three plus three plus three plus three equals 12. Good job. Hmm. So, what are your repeated addition sentences again? Let's see if you can remember. Here's our array again. Were you right? And what were your multiplication sentences? Let's see. Here's our array again. And we have 3 times 4 equals 12. And 4 times 3 equals 12. You guys are getting the hang of this. I also have a really cool tip that might help you. When you're trying to write your multiplication sentences, using an array will really help you. Because when you create your array, all you have to do is count your rows and columns. 
Then when you want to write your multiplication sentence, just remember, look at how many rows times how many columns. And that will be how you write your multiplication sentence. Let's see what I mean. Here was the array that we had that you just looked at. We counted three groups of four. In the second array, you'll notice that I turned it. But how many rows and columns are in the first array? That's right, we have three times four equals 12 in the first array. So that means I have three rows times four columns. And in the second, I have four rows in three columns. Do you notice that our answer is still the same? So even when we turn our array, we get the same answer because we didn't change the number in each group. Thanks for learning with me about arrays. I hope that this video helped you and now you're ready to teach someone else. Be sure that you remember, anytime you get stuck, watch this video again, and maybe even do a little practice on your own, creating your own arrays and making up your own multiplication sentences. Have fun and happy learning.